for invocation, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. Dear Lord, we thank you for this opportunity to come together here in the county we love. We ask that your wisdom and your peace fall upon us as we make decisions here in this building and outside in our community. Be with those who hurt, be with those who are on the front lines, and just may your peace be with us throughout this meeting. In Jesus' name we ask, amen. amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. For the purposes of attendance, the clerk will call the roll. Here. Connor. Absent. Geiger. Here. Getty. Here. Gibson. Here. Jackson. Here. Smoker. Here. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Approval of written agenda at this time. Any member of the board or member of the audience may ask for an item to be removed from the consent agenda and placed under items for consideration. Hearing no such request, does any member of the board wish to change the agenda? Hearing no such request and without objection, the agenda is approved as written. Reports from state and county officers. Does any state or county officer have a report to share with the board? Hearing none, we'll move ahead. Limited public comment. At this time, any member of the public wishing to address the board may do so for up to three minutes. Larry Baskerl, the center where the sun never sets. Uh, first off, uh, I am not necessarily your friend, okay? And, uh, but I do have a law degree from Holiday Express. Together a little narrative based on some of the events that have been happening in these meetings lately. There's a plaque on the Supreme Court building in Washington, D.C. that states, it is emphatically the province and duty of the Judicial Department to say what the law is. This was written by Chief Justice John Marshall in the majority decision of Marbury v. Madison in 1803. Marbury v. Madison established the federal judiciary as the supreme authority for interpreting the Constitution. The court's opinion written by Justice, Chief Justice John Marshall is considered one of the foundations of U.S. constitutional law. The principle of judicial review is specified in this opinion. In this opinion. Article 3 of the Constitution states the federal judiciary, and I apologize, I'm not on my top of my game today, has the power to make judgments in all cases pertaining to the Constitution, statutes, and treaties of the U.S. There is no absolute right to speak at a public meeting per the Constitution. As the United States Supreme Court put it, the Constitution does not grant to members of the public generally a right to be heard by public bodies making decisions of policy. Uh, reference in the Supreme Court case, Minnesota State Board for Community Colleges versus Knight, 1984. It is actually the Michigan Open Meetings Act, not the First Amendment, that gives township residents the right to a public comment period. See MCL 15.261. The OMA authorizes the public to address a meeting of a public body. MCL 15.263.5. The right of a public comment period under the OMA is not absolute. The OMA enables townships to set reasonable limitations on public comment periods to provide for orderly meetings. There again, 15.263. Point one, the Michigan Attorney General opinion 5332. The First Amendment of the Constitution provides protection and opportunity for free speech in public forums. The public meeting of a board or council is considered a limited public forum, which means the government can regulate the time, place, and manner of speech. Boards and councils regulate speech through the adoption of rules and procedure and conduct. That's Perry Education Association versus Perry Educators Association, 1980, the U.S. Supreme Court ruling. The court is the highest tribunal in the nation for all cases and controversies arising under the Constitution or the laws of the United States. As a final arbitrator of the law, the court is charged with ensuring the American people the promise of equal justice under the law and thereby also functions as guardian and interpreter of the Constitution. When the Supreme Court rules on a constitutional issue, the judgment is virtually final. 
Its decisions can be altered only by the rarely used procedure of constitutional amendment or a new ruling of the court, however, or new legislative action. Okay? That's all I have, and I've got copies of the few folks who are willing to see it. Thank you very sure. much. Thank you. Is there further public comment? Yes. I'll have a copy of it. Yes, sir. Good morning, Mr. Chairman. Good morning, Commissioners. My name is Mike Snyder, and I live here in the city of Hastings. What I'm up here for today is to kind of go through the, the COA, and it's, it's, it's a good time to bring up that subject of a uh, new facility. You know, my, uh, my great-grandfather and grandfather were bricklayers, and they laid brick in every part of this building, and also the city hall got to get it torn down. It's a time that we take care of these people that have built what, we, what we're sitting in today. Uh, the COA right now is needs a building real bad. It's leaking bad. It's got, what, three or four different furnaces in it. Uh, the upkeep of that place is tremendous. We're going to save money if we just can get a, a new facility and get something different. I uh, wish your commission would now bring it up in front of you to have the discussion to see if it's time to, we can go after a, a, a millage for a, a new COA, or do we have money and, and a budget, or the other means of financing the COA. We need it real bad, and I think it's something that should be discussed by all of you. Thank you, and have a good day. Thank you. Is there further public comment? Good morning. Good morning, everyone. My name is David Hatfield. I'm a resident of the city of Hastings, and I am an, a candidate for the Board of Commissioners uh, representing the new district, uh, the city of Hastings. Uh, I have a 20-plus year history now in Hastings uh, as an active uh, volunteer, uh, both in the human service realm as well as the economic development and housing. Uh, areas. I chair the uh, ha City of Hastings Planning Commission. I chair the Joint Planning Commission uh, that involves the county as well as uh, several of the townships and, and the city. Uh, I've been asked why, and like all of you, you know, I feel an obligation to contribute back to the city that we, uh, the city, the county that we enjoy so much, and I feel that uh, with the background that I have, uh, that that gives me something to bring to the table and uh, contribute. I currently uh, serve, as I say, as chair of the Hastings Planning Commission. I'm also on the Economic Development uh, Alliance Board and the United Way Board. I fully intend to continue those involvements uh, because uh, I think that, again, that's uh, an important way for me to stay in touch with uh, the community and serve as a more effective uh, member of the, uh, of the commission. I want to thank uh, a number of you for encouraging me to do this uh, and giving me uh, what I think is some very sound and sage advice. I also uh, want to recognize Al Jarvis, who uh, uh, is serving as a primary advisor uh, to me. Uh oh. <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't necessarily like for me to call him. Never lost an election. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, what, what, what else can I say? Uh, so, uh, I, I definitely uh, am looking forward to this. I've got 40 plus years of extensive uh, volunteer service, but this is the first time that I've run for election since I lost uh, an effort to become the senior class president in, <laughs> in high school. So uh, uh, unlike Al, I can't say that I never lost an election. I'm yeah, batting zero. Uh, but uh, I expect to uh, give this a, a very good effort and hope that I'm able to uh, join you. So look forward to it. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Is there further public comment? Hearing none, we've had various correspondence. Does any commissioner have any correspondence they wish to share with the board? Hearing none, consent items. Yes, I move for the approval of April 12, 2022 Board of Commissioners meeting minutes. Approval of April 19, 2022 Committee of the Whole meeting minutes. 
approval to appoint Stacy Adams to serve on the Barry County Community Mental Health Authority Board for the remainder of a three-year term that began on April 1st, 2021 and expire on March 31st, 2024. Approval of farmland and open space preservation, also known as BA 116, application number 22-1 through 22-3 for Mr. and Mrs. Kurt Chase in section one of Carleton Township, section 12 of Hastings Township, and section 30 of Woodland Township, and approval of budget amendment 22-A. Second. Motion by Campbell, supported by Gibson for to approve the items listed under the consent agenda. Discussion is not allowed and a roll call vote is required. All those in favor will vote aye. Those opposed will vote nay. The clerk will call the roll. Campbell. Aye. Counter absent. Getty? Aye. Gibson? Aye. Jackson? Aye. Smoker? Aye. Geiger? Aye. The consent agenda is approved. <laughs> Presentations we have none. Public hearings we have none. Items for consideration. I move for approval of claims in the amount of $126,278.62. Support. Motion by Jackson, supported by Smelka, for the approval of claims in the amount of $126,278.62. Is there discussion? Hearing none, the clerk call the roll. Connor absent. Getty? Aye. Gibson? Aye. Jackson? Aye. Smelker? Aye. Camp? Aye. Aye. The item is approved. I move for adoption of resolution 22-07, resolution of authorization for the 2020 Homeland Security Grant Program Intergovern Intergovernmental Funding Agreement between the County of St. Joseph and the County of Barrie and authorize the chairman and administrator to sign. Support. Motion by Jackson, supported by Getty, for the adoption of Resolution 2207, a resolution of authorization for the 2020 Homeland Security Grant Program Intergovernmental Funding Agreement between the County of St. Joseph and the County of Barrie, and authorize the Chairman and Administrator to sign. Is there discussion? Hearing none, the Clerk will call the roll. Getty? Aye. Gibson? Aye. Jackson? Aye. Smoker? Aye. Campbell? Aye. The resolution is adopted. I move for adoption of resolution 22-08, resolution of authorization for the 2021 Homeland Security Grant Program Intergovern Intergovernmental Funding Agreement between the County of St. Joseph and the County of Barrie and authorize the chairman and administrator to sign. Second. Motion by Jackson, supported by Gibson, for the adoption of Resolution 2208, a resolution of authorization for the 2021 Homeland Security Grant Program Intergovernmental Funding Agreement between the County of St. Joseph and the County of Barrie, and authorize the Chairman and Administrator to sign. Is there discussion? Hearing none, the Clerk will call the roll. Gibson. Aye. Jackson. Aye. Smoker. Aye. Gibson. Aye. Connor Anderson. Getty. Aye. Aye. The resolution is adopted. We have no unfinished business. We have no new business. County Minister of Report. I'm all set. Thank you. I'm all set. The Vice Chairperson is not here. Commissioner Reports. We'll start with Commissioner Campbell. Thank you. Um, I attended uh, Johnstown Township where uh, points of conversation were the blight issues in the township. They're also working on some special assessments with, uh, within the township for some paving of roads. Uh, lots of comments on the job Chris Jaswick is doing. He is the new fire chief out there. I also attended the Barry Eaton Health Department meeting along with many others. Uh, BEHD are trying to fo uh, fill some openings. We have currently eight vacant positions. Uh, we are continuing forward with an uh, enterprise fleet service proposal. This will be a lease for vehicles. The exact distribution is still in the works. I also attended the CAA meeting yesterday. We are sorry to have the uh, resignation from Michelle Williamson. Uh, she was the current CEO, and she's stepping down and uh, uh, let to be de left to be determined who's going to fill the new job. But she did a great job and will be missed. Thank you. Commissioner Jackson. I'm all set. Thank you. Commissioner Gibson. Yes, uh, I attended the Hastings uh, Township meeting. 
They talked about the election commission volunteers. They talked about the FOIA request from the sheriff's department. They talked about the sewer extension agreement. They voted five yes and two no. They talked about taxing Harvest Point. They talked about repaving Indian Hills. At the transit board meeting, a transit customer service survey conducted jointly by the MDOC and Michigan State University was distributed to the board. Ratings were very high. The survey will be published in the local papers. They talked about the trolley around town and they purchased two new vans. At the city council meeting last night, they approved the request from Northside Pizza at 829 North Michigan to allow placement of tables and chairs in the city right of way along the west entry of Northside Pizza. They approved the request from Spectrum Health Pennock to use Fish Hatchery Park Pavilion on Thursday, May the 19th, 2022, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. hands-on training for Stop the Bleed campaign. They talked about the band boosters' request to use Thornapple Plaza on the direction of staff on Tuesday, May the 24th, 2022, from 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. for Band of Paluski Band Concert and Fundraiser. They talked, they approved uh, the request from Jennifer Zink, downtown business team, request to hold the spring girls' night out and sidewalk sales on May the 5th, 2022, from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. They also approved street closure for a dance contest during girls' night out, May the 5th, 2022, from 6.55 p.m. to 7.30. John, for, write this down. I know you like to get in those contests. Event. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they also approved the American Legion, uh, James Ackerson Parade Chairman to hold the annual Memorial Day Parade under direction of staff. They also approved Justin Smith's presentation and request for disc golf events for 2022. They also approved the proposal from Municipal Consulting Service to conduct a classification and compensation study in an amount not to exceed $20,250 as recommended by City Manager Moyer Kale. That's all I have. Thank you, Commissioner. Commissioner Smelker. I attended Thornapple and Irving Township meetings. Also had a 911 meeting yesterday and got introduced to three of the Molarola reps, and we're getting things started there on the new tower, and that's about it. Thank you. Commissioner Getty. Um, <clears throat> I also attended Thornapple Township. Um, our uh, TTES fire chief. Um, is retiring so Thornapple will be um, looking for a new fire chief that I think has already gone out um, and been posted uh, attended the Barry County Chamber and EDA business and community expo on Saturday um, very successful lots of people it was a very nice day so it was hard to compete with uh, the outdoors but still people showed up um, Yankee Springs Township um, they are um, the bids have gone out for the building renovation um, so that's a major building renovation in Yankee Springs Township Hall uh, attended the local development finance authority um, and we approved um, close to two hundred thousand dollars for uh, road funding improvements okay. um, in the industrial zone so along Grand Rapids Street and Main Street as it heads east out of town towards autos. Um, we have a Barry County Parks and Rec meeting on Thursday night, um, attended health department meeting. It was a busy couple of weeks. Um, and then we have a, a public input day at Metcalf Lake, um, the um, park down there. We're gonna get public input on Sunday, May 1st. So from one to four, um, a trail has been cleared. Um, Battle Creek had done some um, parking lot improvements, so we won't get stuck in the mud. Um, but we're looking forward to hearing what the community um, would like to see for that natural area and park. It's a beautiful area if, um, if you ever want to go check it out. May 1st sounds like a good day to do it. Thank you, Commissioner. Limited public comment. This time, any member of the public wishing to address the board may do so for up to three minutes. bad dream today. Uh, got three points and I'm probably going to forget what two of them are. Uh, uh, number one, uh, you didn't finish the business on the uh, new board rules as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I'm going to remind you that these six adjacent counties uh, in their board rules 
all have language that indicates that any public comments pertain to uh, are either germane or pertain to county business. Uh, number two, we talked extensively, and there's been a number of complaints from this dais uh, complaining that it's it, it's a uh, it'd be nice to get some dialogue back from the commissioners during public comments when questions are asked, you know, and comments are made. Doesn't have to occur here. Can happen after the three minutes have expired or at the end of the end of the meeting myself I've asked questions and I'm still waiting for answers on some of them so uh, I'd appreciate uh, moving forward on that even if it takes a, uh, a gender request to get that taken care of uh, number two we've got uh, we've got more information while we stopped uh, dinner tracks on 219 as far as uh, separating from the uh, Eaton County and the health department going our own way Wyoming can do it there's no way that uh, Barry County doesn't have the resources and the finances available to do it. Uh, and uh, I think we should move forward on that. And I told you I forget two of them, and I forget, the, oh, the, yeah, the last one is, and this is Believe in yourself, thing. Larry. Huh? Believe in yourself. I, well, I, I probably do that too much. Uh, but uh, from listening to comments over the last few weeks, there's been a number of folks that have threatened lawsuits and what have you to the board. On a personal basis, I feel it's time for these people to uh, fish or cut bait, put their money where their mouth is. If they're going to file suit, let's do it. File suit and get some of the, get some of these issues resolved. Thank you very much. Thank you. Is there further public comment? Hearing none. Um, there being no other business to come before the board. Is there any objection to adjourning? Yes. Is that a real objection? <laughs> <laughs> Hearing no objection and. The board is now adjourned.